so we will continue with the practice zone 3 what are the different types of processes that are involved in processing of wool first is rearing and breeding after that cutting of the uh, wool that is shearing then scouring is there washing of the wool then it is drawing he is sorting spreading the wool uniformly picking some uh, kind of impurities from it carding and combing straightening and uh, separating right spinning ho gaya spin karna aur uska fabric uh, fiber banana dyeing coloring add karna weave karna usko and knit karna right next is write down some common uses of wool wool kahan pe use hoti hoti hai mostly it is used in the woolen clothes like uh, sweaters jackets hogi blankets bed sheets cushion covers futons mein use kiya jata hai next is describe any two characteristics of the silk fiber uh, fiber ke koi bhi do uh, characteristics you can write like if luster is there it is very much high high luster it is having and also it is a very st- strong it is a strongest natural fiber right so also you can write to your own also that we have done like it is having a hygroscopic nature it absorbs the moisture like those kind of things you can also write next is how can we differentiate between male and female silk moth male and female silk moth ka difference hota hai of their size female silk moth is greater in size as compared to the male silk moth next is uh, what are the measures of taking care of silk fabric how can we take care one is that we should not wash them with the hot water instead we should wash them with the cold water and if in case the water is hard it is not fit for washing we can add some pinch of ammonia in it which helps us to wash it easily in case of stains are there on the silk fabric agar silk ke kapdon pe stains pad jate hain in that case we can use hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide ko hum use kar sakte hain easily clear which will remove the stains also while storing which is important one ki jab hum kapde ko store karte hain silk silk ke jo kapda hai as we know that it is having moisture in it so we should not keep it in the plastic bags because plastic bag mein iska moisture trap ho jayega and which may lead to fungal growth over the silk and jiske iska color bhi dull ho sakta hai clear it is Hmm. and also we should not wash it with the hands or instead it should be dry cleaned isko wash nahi karna chahiye which may cause shrinking also next is uh, list down the measures that can be taken to prevent color fading color fading of silk color fading ko bachane ke liye what kind of measures we should take we should wash it always with the cold water ke sath wash karna chahiye right which which avoids color fading also we should not dry it in the direct sunlight and uh, if the water is hard it is not fit for uh, washing so we can add a pinch of ammonia to wash the silk clear it is so these are the practice zones uh, that which are in the two parts part 1 video and part 2 video so this is it so thanks for watching